vectors application force. Now we are going to use the knowledge of vectors to solve many problems relating to force. And one of the most common thing will be to represent the situation in the form of vector diagram. Now here is an example for you to practice. Now uh, my recommendation is when you draw this then make a scale and do accurately. The question here is representing forces using vectors. So we have a couple of examples, very simple ones. It says 10 kg weight acting downwards. Then force exerted by mass of 50 kilograms on the surface of the earth. Force of 25 Newton at an angle of 30 degrees to horizontal surface. Pulling a cart with force of 40 Newton at an angle of 40 degrees with horizontal, right? So, in all these cases, when you draw your vector diagrams, then use a scale. And let's say scale is, defined scale as scale. Let us say in this case, we are seeing most of the things in Newtons. Let's say 10 Newtons equals to 1 centimeter. So, once you make a scale, then it is uh, easier to draw and you will get accuracy, correct? Now, for example, the first one, it says 10 kg weight acting downwards. So, actually speaking, 10 kg weight is same as 10 Newton. It is a force. Weight is a force of attraction of a body towards the center of the earth. And it acts downwards. So, therefore, this could be represented by arrow of 1 centimeter going downwards from north to south, right? So that represents 10 Newtons downwards. Now the second one is force exerted by mass of 50 kilograms on the surface of the earth. Now this is 50 kilogram mass, right? Important thing here is mass. It is not weight. Now that has to be converted to force and F force is equals to mass into acceleration and acceleration is 9.8. So it is 50 times 9.8 which is meters per second square and I'll for the time being approximate it to let's say 500 right I'm taking this as 10 approximating it to 500 and say so that is the Newton force applied so a common mistake seen is sometimes you overlook multiplying by a factor of 9.8 right and that makes a huge difference well, this is 500 Newtons, so we'll use a different scale here. So we say, well, now a scale could be as uh, 100 Newton equals to 1 centimeter, right? So in that case, we'll draw a line which could be, which is acting downwards, and let's say this is 5 centimeters, let us say, right? And so we have this as 500 Newtons, and that's acting downwards. So that is how you have to do it. Now the next one is force of 25 Newton at an angle of 30 degrees to horizontal. So when you draw this you can actually in all we could have drawn the coordinate system and then 30 degrees from the horizontal. So this is your horizontal and let's say 10 Newton is 1 centimeter so 2.5 centimeter long should be your arrow and the angle will be 30 degrees so we can say well this is my 30 degrees angle from here and that is 25 newtons at 30 degrees so like this you know you can draw your forces as vectors now the next one is quite similar to what we did but in this case it is 40 newtons so we could draw a line which is 4 centimeter long and at an angle of 40 degrees. Let's say this is 40 degrees and let's say this is 4 centimeters. So we write 40 Newton here and the angle is 40 degrees. So that represents pulling a cart with a force of 40 Newtons at an angle of 40 degrees with horizontal. Got it? So like this you can draw your diagrams. As an added exercise what you can do is you can resolve all these forces in their x and y components right which we call rectangular components so so your problem now is to resolve 
given forces into rectangular components. So when we say rectangular components, that means like this. This is your horizontal component and that's your vertical, right? So you can always find the magnitude of these components with the help of trigonometric ratios, right? So that will be your cosine of angle and this is going to be the sine of angle. So that is how you can do it and that is going to give you some practice as good getting started to do some vectors application with force. Thank you.